Thank you so much for joining me, um, for joining this ever-growing family. Um, we're, in this channel, we educate, we entertain, but most of all, we empower. The aim is that once you watch this video or watch any of the of the videos, you know, in this channel, you get empowered and your life gets transformed. That's the aim of this channel. So thank you so much for joining us. If you join us for the first time, please kindly subscribe. Please like this video. Uh, please also share it if it's also possible. You can share this video. Um, it's and sharing is for free, by the way. <laughs> so there'll be no extra data that will be uh, that will be charged to you. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me. If it's not your first time, thank you so much for you know for taking your time, your precious time. You know you could have watched anything else, but you chose to come, you know, to this um, channel. Thank you so much. I really appreciate. Um, on today's episode, I want to be sharing my it's it's story time today. So say I talk and I'm trying. I don't know. I wish I could speak in my own language, but for the sake of um, reaching out to others, I'll, I'll speak in English because, hey, sometimes, you know what, there are certain things that you want to speak in Zulu, like, and like, you know what, right now, you know, yeah. So it's story time today. Um, um, okay, even though I won't be showing it in the whole video, but I'm wearing a living word. Um, the t-shirt, let me just, okay, God first, God first, bro. So I'm wearing um, a living word. Uh, it's a it's a faith it's a faith based company. They um, they sell t-shirts, um, sweaters, hoodies, and other um, beautiful stuff that are scripturally inspired. So please get go to their online store. Um, they also Korea. I uh, what I will do I will put on their website uh, below on my description box so that um, we all benefit. So on today's um, episode, I, I will be sharing my journey uh, about idols, South Africa, like, uh, or rather my journey on idols. I say, like, you're wondering, I was on idols. Yeah, I was on idols. It's one of the best decisions I ever, you know, uh, took, but also it was, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. So now let me just say, like, first of all, why did I go, want to go to idols? And can I even sing? So, um... Some people know that I've got a foundation on music. I didn't study like professionally, but I do have a foundation on music and also composing and also writing as, as, as obviously I write. Uh, but I've also, so I, I've got that foundation in, in creativity, like from writing, script writing and all of that. So, but I, I can also sing. I've been singing in church for, you know, um, since, 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 you know, since I was very young. So, but I, I, you know, I'd never taken this gift, like, seriously, like, it's okay, now I have to sing and all of that, yeah. So, then I saw an advert um, on, on, on Mzansi uh, Magic, I uh, hope, I, I hope it's Mzansi Magic, yeah. Obviously, they were saying um, they, they're looking for the next top idol, and I was like, this is me, this is me, I'm the next big thing in the country, and young, I had won the previous year, so... I was ready, I was ready, I was ready. So um, in Devon, they were going to come, I think it was February. Um, <clears throat> and then I didn't have money. Okay, let me tell you why did I want to go to Idols first. Number one, I, 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 that year I was volunteering, I was not employed. So I wanted to be, you know, I wanted something that's going to keep me busy because we have to relocate to, um, I think, Northwest or Houting, you know, in the process of shooting Idols. I wanted to be busy with something. But secondly, I wanted a platform, a platform whereby I get to showcase my talent and you know that's what i wanted and people not they will not just get in to know my music but they will also get to know my work the work that i do for young people you know empowering and all of that i wanted to use music as a as a voice you know that will transport the message that i have for young people number three i also wanted to show other young people that you know what you can do is uh, you can do this um uh, i thought of my young people in my community you know what when they can see me on tv they will know that you know what so basically, all things are possible. If Mbuizelo can do it, then certainly can I also do it. So then I um, 
the date uh, came. I didn't have money. <clears throat> and one of my uncles, I told him I wanted to go to Idols. And I, I spoke to quite a few people and they said, you know what? I think that's a great idea if you're going to go to Idols. Hey, <laughs> ah, let me continue telling this story. So, um, and then um, I was going to go to Devon. My uncle uh, just gave me some, some money. You know, I really appreciate that he, you know, he was very supportive and I got the money in a high car. I was hiding from Ebangin to Devon. So hitchhiking. And then I got there at Devon around five. And you know me, I'm, I'm, I'm a small town boy. I don't know Devon. Devon is like a mega city. So I got lost. I got lost. They said the auditions at uh, South Beach. And then I was like, oh, I got lost. I got lost. <laughs> I got lost. But I remember I found myself next to Sun Coast and all of that. Um, but then I found this guy, uh, he was sitting there, like, so troubled, I was like, I will, I'm good, and all of that was saying, um, yeah, I'm good, I'm here for um, SA Idols, or auditions, I said, okay, that's great, I'm also here for that too, um, can we, can we go together and search the place, because it looked like he was also lost, like myself, okay, then we had a conversation, he was telling me that um, he's got, you know, he's, he, he's got a good background in music, he's, he's, he sings choral and all of that, um, opera music and then yeah no and then we got there we didn't book anything we didn't have money for that i had money for transport and for eating that's the money i had but for me i just wanted to also show to myself that how far can i really go you know um for my goals and, and for my dreams and you know when i took that step i said it's not about winning actually or even getting to idols it was just about can how far can i go you know to pursue um my dreams so that is all. Not that I wanted in all of that. Nah, just wanted to see how far can I go. And and then we got there, you know, the line. The line, and it was around six now, six to seven. There was a, a big line, uh, but not too big because um, it looked, but people were just packing in. So um, fortunately, I had my stuff to, stuff to sleep. So we would sleep um, because we were outside um, next, to the, next, to the, next to the beach next to the ocean <laughs> so um so it was very uh, cold that night it was very very cold i had my stuff my throw i don't know what you call it but i think it's throw in english i had my throw and i had my stuff that i would change okay my clothes that i would wear for the audition all right all right all right all right and then when i got there um we then waited waited and obviously we had to, I think we had to sleep there so yeah there were like many people there guys there were so many people I'm sorry I got distracted I got distracted somehow but then there were so many people who were there and people like your kids could sing bruh like some of them were already singing some of them were already singing I'm like yay Kung Shu Bell is like it's tough you know and okay then I slept you know in the morning you know it was in the morning when we woke up we were sleeping outside when we woke up um you know disasters were just following oh let me tell you there's this incident i nearly forgot yeah? at night around 12 to 1 we got so hungry and then we thought we we were this group of you know uh, other youngsters who were passionate about music we said um let's go to the garage and buy something to eat when we went to the garage a, a disaster first disaster happened so we went to the garage so um I don't know Devon in the streets and all of that. So as we were approaching the, the shop, the, it's a 24-hour shop, uh, you know, obviously it's a garage, right? <laughs> so when we got there, before we even get to the store, a car just comes and stops next to us. So I'm walking with uh, also two ladies, and it was also two guys and two ladies. I know this guy uh, comes out from the car. I think he was carrying a knife. Ne? He comes to us and says, yeah, 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 I think... He wanted to, um, I don't know what to call it, but he wanted, you know, to take whatever that we had, cell phones and all of that. I was like, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in my heart, because I was like, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I was interceding, I was like, I bought this guy, and then, I don't know what distracted him, and then he went back fast, fast in his car, and then they drove fast, fast, and then they disappeared. You know, I was like, what's happening? Oh, but I was like, you know me being a, an optimistic person, I was like, oh man, you know, I will tell the story one day that my, in my journey of success, I, I encountered many problems, I encountered many challenges, but I overcame, now I'm here with idols. 
<laughs> in the morning we woke, we woke up and you know when it was t- we if, for us to bath the with our bathrooms uh the it it, it 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 yeah yeah so we went to those bathroom outside though so and then already my disasters were following me um the the, the lotion the the body lotion my body lotion already had started it had i don't know i mean I, I slept on top of my bed right no no not on top of my bed so and then the lotion just split like those clothes i was supposed to wear at the audition they were messed up saying only say get by this lotion that i was using oh man you know so i you know i was just distracted and then in the morning in the morning uh the idols crew came you know and all of that oh i thought it was exciting i was like yeah now i'm getting closer to my dream proverb was there but he came for like two minutes and then he disappeared and then they were told hey you've got to they'll come this um this drone camera that will come and you have to act happy and then it came out and i thought you know to i thought hey, hey you know what people are gonna see me on tv i hope i don't mess up <laughs> so and then the drone would come ah and then you'd have to pretend as if you're happy and then and then you know it was like yeah i was like ah man we have been made kids here yeah. but it was a nice experience um and uh, one thing that i saw is that that idols is a major major production you know it's like a major production and a lot of money because they have a lot of people you know what we see on tv is just a fraction but there's a lot of work that is done behind the scenes and then we went there now our, we got registered we had those things you see those idols things unfortunately i didn't take a picture and then um i registered uh, okay which song was gonna sing um initially i thought i wanted to sing in the lamb by zahara um i think yeah the, you know maybe you search the song in the lamb by zahara <laughs> then i when i got there i i changed i wanted to sing a christmas carol imagine a whole christmas carol or come only faithful so i went there i we got registered and then i uh, i was on the queue um <clears throat> and then i was called in when my name was called in, I went there. There was a white guy. I was like, they are not so busy. They are unatis. They are not unatis. So I was like, so the producers or whoever those people are, but I know think some of them are musical coaches or people who are like well known in the in, in the you know music industry behind the scenes. So they were there. So I auditioned for this white guy. You know, <clears throat> no, no, no. Oh, I will tell you. Oh, I auditioned to a to a black guy. So I was like, what's going to sing? But you have got 30 seconds. So it's just stand there, just stand there and sing fast. I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to sing um, Oh, Come Only Faithful. And then I said, oh, okay, I'm only faithful. Da, da, da. And then he was like, okay, that's great. That was nice. Um, Now you can go out and wait for your results. And then I went there and waited for the results. And then our group, maybe like a group of 100, we told, go home, guys. Go home. You know, not even one person was selected. You know what we thought? You know what? We can't give up. We are, we, we don't give up like that. You know what then we did um i i with this guy uh, i've forgotten his name though he's from uh, free state <laughs> we said you know let's dodge the system i dodged the system guys i'm not perfect we went there to start the line you know and there were already thousands of people by then like we started the line again and we went there because i was wearing a jacket at first this time i took out the jacket i put it on my back so that they see a new person so when you got there for the second time um when you got there for the second time now there was a white person right the white guy and then what's what's up what song are you gonna sing i sang the same christmas carol uh and then the guy was like no okay you've got a good voice but please give me something popish you know something I was like okay let me sing zahar lengom and that's under zui velengom oh he was like ah that's nice this sounds was like you know what right now i'm getting in uh, and then the second and then he's like okay please go and wait for your results another second for the second time <laughs> like go home guys <laughs> like go home guys oh no guys i was like no i can't do it for the three time for, for the third time i'm gonna i'm using texas i don't have a car waiting for me so i was like ah oh, are my dreams shattered now my idol's dream was shattered so then i just packed my bags and just said goodbye to that guy and you know after that i went i was walking obviously to not to deben station yes i did walk to deben station i was walking from you know the south there of deben 
hey guys i was walking very slowly but not disappointed i was i was proud of myself that i took you know that leap of faith but i was just i could remember war you know because i didn't have even enough money and you know i don't like i could have used taxes to deb to go to Devon station but you know deb and text the text would say i'm going to Devon station but it's going somewhere yeah but then i came back um you know the lessons from my idol's journey um guys is that you've got to try 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 you know um a friend of mine once said sometimes you know just do something sometimes the thing sometimes the thing that you're doing may not be the thing but it will eventually lead you to the thing that you want i hope you get that one but i also learned that um you never know when your next like your source of breakthrough will come from it may be idols it may be something else maybe personal but i realized that you know probably my breakthrough right now won't be through music it would be through other things then i said let me come back and focus on on what i do best you know let me focus on doing motivation let me create my own platform because guys those are other people's platforms they have, they have their own requirements they've got their own set, set of things that they want so i said to myself you know what let me go back i'm inspired now to create my own platform now i created my youtube channel i started writing i started being inspired but had it not been for me going to idols i, I don't think i would have done these things i just wanted to see myself how far can i go you know um for my for my dreams you know i think always try something new always no matter even if it's gonna make you look like a fool but just do that and you're gonna see it's gonna pay out and it's gonna pay off that's what I'm, I'm, i mean so guys thank you so much for listening to my story on on being on idols and it was such an, an amazing journey i won't lie to you would i do it again uh, uh nah i don't know i don't know maybe in, in, an, in another lifetime um let me just right now i'm just focusing on building you know what i've started building you know focus on what is working sometimes guys also there are people there at idols who are saying been on idols you know for more than five years i'm not saying i'm discouraging you some maybe it's gonna work but also sometimes guys we've got to be realistic what can i do right now you know aside from being on idols find opportunities that will propel you and give you um you know uh, try the platforms that will open many doors for you being being on you know, idols even if i entered and 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 you know and 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 one it there are people who did who, who entered idols and they didn't win and they're still doing very well in their lives you know musically exceedingly above the people who you know took the the crown or, or the title of being the idol um of south africa and whatnot so guys thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for hearing my story please do the right thing subscribe and share your comment below um yeah and if you want me to share other beautiful stories i'm willing to do that to do that to do that salute <laughs>